Right, welcome to question 17 of the uh, exam practice medley. So, what is this question about? Well, instantly when I saw this, I know exactly this is to do with moment. Why? Because moment is equal to force times distance or displacement, if you like. So, um, so this is your force, this is your distance, you get a moment, okay? So it's, um, uh, and if you treat this as a seesaw, so it's asked you to find what the, if this force needs to be in order to keep this seesaw in a way that is in static equilibrium. That means if you imagine this is, this seesaw here is in the sky. If this moment is bigger than this one, then this whole seesaw will keep it will, will, will fall uh, anti-clockwise. So the only reason why it's not turning is because there's enough force to compensate that. Okay, but you notice that the distance are different for both sides. So what you need to do is you need to set it up so that you can, to, for, for it to achieve in uh, static equilibrium, you need to make sure you write the m moment anti-clockwise should equal to the moment clockwise okay so let's solve the moment anti-clockwise first so let's do that in blue so the moment uh, anti-clockwise, these are all anti-clockwise because even that one is going to go that way. So that's going to give you anti-clockwise direction. Yeah? So it's force times distance. So the first thing I'm going to write is f 20 times 2 add the sum of the two anti-clockwise moment is 12 times 5. And that equal to the um, clockwise moment which is force times distance okay so therefore the force is there is equal to um, so if I just solve this so that's 20 times 2 40 and then 12 times 5 60 that's 100 so that's 100 divided by 4. So the force that needs to keep this into in static equilibrium will be 25 Newton. So this needs to be 25 Newton. And that's it. Thank you. So let's look at the answer. 25 Newton. Okay, so easy for 5 marks.